Hi, my name is Keith from West Coast Chamois Company, and today I'll be introducing our do-it-yourself tie-dye chamois kit. Inside your kit, you will have one pre-treated chamois towel, one package containing two pairs of vinyl gloves, 20 rubber bands, one container of color setting solution, one plastic protective sheeting, and one face mask. You'll also have three bottles pre-filled with red, yellow, and blue dye. Last but not least, your kit will include an instruction page. Now, let's move on to tying and dyeing your chamois. First, let's get your workspace ready by opening up this package. Take out the plastic protective sheeting and lay it across your workspace. To do this design, start off by grabbing one corner like so. Then take a rubber band and tie the corner. Once you've tied that section, it should look something like this. Repeat this process to the end of the chamois. Each section does not have to be the same size. Different size sections will give the chamois a nicer look. Once you have finished tying your chamois, we can now begin mixing the dye. For this video, I'll be using a bin and rack to dye my chamois on. Before handling the dye, make sure to put on your gloves. Once you've put on your gloves, Grab your bottles of dye and fill them up to the top line with water. Make sure to leave some space at the top so that you can mix around the dye. If you want the color to be darker, don't add in as much water. Make sure to shake and mix thoroughly. Once you have added water to your bottles, it should look something like this. In this video, I'll be making orange and green as well. To make orange, you'll need one part red and two parts yellow. To make green, you'll need two parts yellow and one part blue. If you're making additional colors, you can make them in a separate bottle. A list of other colors you can create will be provided at the end of this video. Once you've finished mixing your colors, we can now begin dyeing the chamois. First things first, keep your chamois laying on one side. Take your first color of dye and lightly squeeze it onto the first section of the chamois. Make sure to leave some space between the rubber bands so that the color can seep through. I will show you my first five sections of my chamois. Each section should be a different color. Now that I've dyed one side of the chamois, I will flip it over and dye the other. Now that I've completed the first half of the chamois, I will do the other half. When you're done dyeing your chamois, it should look something like this. Now we're going to let the chamois sit for 8 hours until we can rinse it out. Once your chamois has been sitting for at least 8 hours, we can begin rinsing it off. Take the chamois and run it under cool water. Lightly squeeze the chamois back and forth to get most of the dye out.
once you've gotten most of the dye out, completely wring out the chamois. Use scissors to cut off the rubber bands, or you can pull them off by hand. Still keeping the colors separate, rinse the chamois again under cool water. Once you've finished rinsing the chamois, we can now soak it. To soak your chamois, Fill a container with enough warm water so that the chamois will be submerged. Pour and mix in the color setting solution. Soak the chamois in the water for at least 15 minutes. After 15 minutes have passed, you can now rinse out your chamois.